Hi everybody, it's Christina from Card Making Magic. A little while ago I did a video to show you how to use some deco foils with transfer gel. But in today's video I'd like to show you some other ways to use it and you don't need a hot foil machine and you've probably got the supplies in your craft room. So we'll be using a glue pen, some double sided tape, we'll be adding foil to some um, die cuts and we'll be adding highlights to, to some cards that we've already made. So on this little towel I've just added in some blue highlights to the elephant. So I'm going to start with the glue pen and this card that was made a while ago but I want to add some silver highlights to this. Now the reason I'm starting with the glue pen is because it comes out blue but it needs to dry. It needs to go clear and it needs to be tacky. So all I'm doing is just adding some glue into the centre of these flowers. And once I've done that I'm going to pop it on one side and leave it to go clear and tacky and then I'll show you what we'll do with some silver foil. Now for this card we're going to add in some stripes so I'm lining my card up on my grid mat and I'm going to use the lines on the actual cutting mat to help me line up the tape. Now for the next one you're going to need some double sided paper, some card, your die cut and this one says happy birthdays and this is from Tonic Studios and I'm going to cover it with silver foil. some plain white card, we've got a piece of the stick it sheet and I'm going to add this to the white card.
Now another thing you can use are the transfer sheets. So I'm just going to cut this in half just to show you the effect. And what I have here is a wooden board because I'm going to use an ordinary domestic iron. This is a piece of um, heat resistant sheeting and this is just a piece of grease proof paper. So I'm going to pop my card in there. I'm going to take some of my foil and so that I don't waste it I'm going to cut some of this down. So if you place your card on the grease proof paper keep the shiny side of your foil facing upwards close up your grease proof paper. Now the iron is quite hot I've had it on for some time I've got it on the cotton setting and I'm just going to iron over the foil. So I'm going to keep this on for about 30 seconds. Now this is quite hot so you need to let this cool down and once it's cooled down and you remove your foil you have a beautiful effect on your cards. So there you have some more colourways with the bought transfer sheets that you can use with an ordinary domestic iron. So now let's try this with the transfer gel. So there's one that I transferred earlier and it's now dry and I'm going to use this beautiful two-tone foil. So I'm keeping it on my board, I'm closing the lid up and I'm going to use the iron and see what happens with the transfer gel. So there you've got some ideas for adding foils to your cards. This one was using a quickie glue pen just to put the, the glue down, allow it to go tacky and then add the foil. We've also used the die cuts and foiled those. This one was using double sided tape to add the stripes and this one was using double sided sheet just to put the mottled background into the background. And this one was using transfer gel with just an ordinary domestic iron. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have please join me on the next one and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.